this video, I want to show how to sketch graphs of y squared equals f of x. After watching the video, students will be able to sketch graphs of y squared equals f of x by transformation. Now today we discuss how to sketch graphs of y squared equals fx. Before we start, let's look at some of the basic graph of square root function. First one is square root of x. The graph of square root of x looks like a curve going up in the positive quadrant. Then square root of x power 2. Square root of x power 2 generally it is equivalent to modulus of x. So the graph for modulus of x is a v-shape. Then come to square root of x with odd power. For example, square root of x power 3, square root of x power 5, square root of x power 7. So generally, this kind of graphs, the shape is a curve moving up in the positive quadrant. Then we come to square root of x with even power. So for example, square root of x power 4, square root of x power 6, square root of x power 8, and so on. So generally, this kind of graphs the the curve is uh, looks like a U shape. So these are the basic graph for square root function. Now we go to y square equals f x. Y square equals f x is equivalent to y equals plus and minus square root of f x. So means if we want to sketch y squared equals fx, we need to change the equation to y equals plus and minus square root of fx. So now we look at the example. Sketch the graph y squared equals x. First, we need to change y squared into y. So when we ch change uh, y squared into y, we will get two equations. One is positive square root of x. One is negative square root of x. Then we need to sketch the graph of these two equations by using the same axis. So first one for positive square root of x, the shape is in the first quadrant, that is curve going up. Then when we come to negative square root of x, and we know that negative in front of a function means uh, we need to carry out reflection in x-axis. So when we do reflection by using the square root of x, so now the, uh, the graph will go down the x-axis. So when we combine these two graphs together, that is the graph for y squared equals x. So next example, Sketch the graph y squared equals x squared. Same thing when we change y squared into y, then we will get one positive square root of x squared, one negative square root of x squared. Then sketch these two curves by using the same axis. First, square root of x squared this looks like a V shape, then followed by Negative square root of x squared means we do reflection by using the original uh, square root of x squared. So after the reflection, so we can see there is the upside down v here. When we combine these two graphs together, that's the, the shape looks like an x. That is the graph for y squared equals x squared. Then next y squared equals x power 3, same thing, change y squared becomes y, then we will get one positive square root of x power 3, one negative square root of x power 3. So sketch these two graphs 
by using the same excess. So for positive square root of x power 3, this is the graph. So then negative in front of the function means reflection uh, by using x axis. So now after reflection, the curve will go down. So when we combine these two curves together, that is the graph for y squared equals x power 3. Next, y squared equals x power 4. First, we change y squared into, in, into y. Then we will get one positive square root x power 4, one negative square root x power 4. Then we sketch these two curves in by using the same axis. So first, the positive square root of x power 4 looks like a new shape. Negative square root of x power 4. So negative in front of the function means reflection in x axis. So after reflection, we will get an n shape. So when we combine this shape together, that is the graph for y squared equals x power 4. Now let's try some other example. First example, sketch the graph 1 minus y squared equals 2 minus x. First we change the y squared into y. So when we change y squared into y, we will get one positive square root of 2 minus x and another one is negative square root of 2 minus x. So then other than we rearrange the equations, so we will get two equations. So one equation is y equals square root of 2 minus x plus 1. Another one is y equals negative square root of 2 minus x plus 1. Now we need to sketch these two functions by using transformation method. First, we draw the first graph y equals square root of 2 minus x plus 1. First, the parent graph, we start from square root of x. Next, x coordinates transformation. Negative means reflection in y axis. Then, plus 2, so means translation to the right hand side for 2 plus y transformation plus 1 means translation upwards for 1 unit so finally we will get the graph here now the second graph y equals negative square root of 2 minus x plus 1 so same thing, start from parent graph, square root of x, then uh, x coordinate transformation, negative, Reflect, we use uh, reflection, use y axis to do the reflection, then followed by translation to the right hand side for two units. So after the x transformation, we go to y transformation. We start from refraction in x axis, then we'll get this one, then last transformation to the upwards for one unit, then we will get the graph here. Now after sketching the graph, one is positive and one is negative. Now we can combine the two graphs become one graph. So now after combine the graphs, so this is the graph of 1 minus y squared equals 2 minus x. Next example, sketch the graph 1 plus 2 squared equals x minus 3 squared. First, change y squared into y. When change y squared into y, we will get 1 square root of x minus 3 
power 2 another one is negative square root of x minus 3 power 2 then we rearrange the equation then we will get one equation is y equals positive square root of x minus 3 power 2 minus 2 another one is 1 equals negative square root of x minus 3 power 2 minus 2 then we need to sketch these two graphs now we sketch the first graph y equals square root of x minus 3 power 2 minus 2 first we start from the parent graph from the equation you can see that the parent graph is square root of x power 2 next we go to x coordinates transformation since there is no negative in front of x then no reflection no constant in front of x then no enlargement now uh, there is a minus 3 here means we need to do translation 3 units to the right so after translation that means we have already finished the x coordinate transformation now we go to y coordinate transformation that is minus 2 minus 2 means shift the whole curve 2 units downwards so after shifting that is the graph now we go to second graph y equals negative square root of x minus 3 power 2 minus 2 same thing we start from the parent graph then we go to x coordinate transformation from the equation we can see that we only need to do translation for 3 units to the right after the x coordinate transformation now we go to y coordinate transformation since there is a negative in front of the function means we need to do reflection by using x axis so after the reflection this is the graph then after the reflection since there is a minus 2 here so means we need to do translation to units downwards so after the translation this is the graph after sketching the graphs one for positive square root one for negative square root now we need to combine these two graphs by using the same excess after combine now that is the graph for y plus 2 squared equals x minus 3 squared next example sketch the graph y minus 2 squared equals x plus 3 cubed first change y squared into y when change y squared into y we will get one positive square root of x plus 3 cubed another one is negative square root of x plus 3 cubed then we rearrange the equation we will get one is y equals positive square root of x plus 3 cubed plus 2 another one is y equals negative square root of x plus 3 cubed plus 2 now we need to sketch the graph for these two equations now we go to the first graph y equals square root of x plus 3 cubed plus 2 first we start from the parent graph so from the equation we can see that the parent graph is square root of x power 3 then we go to x coordinate transformation from the equation we can see that we only need to do translation 3 units to the left after that we go to y coordinate transformation from the equation we can see that we only need to do shifting two units upwards so after shifting that is the graph then we go to the second graph y equals negative square root of x plus 3 cubed plus 2 so same thing we start from the parent graph which is square root of x cube then we go to x coordinate transformation same thing it is translation 3 units to the left after finish the x coordinate transformation we go to y coordinate transformation 
since it is a negative in front of the function means we need to do reflection in x-axis so after the reflection this is the graph then next we go to translation we shift the whole curve two units upwards so after shifting the whole graph to upward for two units then that is the graph now after sketching the two graphs one for positive and one for negative now we need to combine these two graphs by using the same axis after combine that is the graph for y minus 2 squared equals x plus 3 cubed next example sketch the graph 2 minus y squared equals x plus 1 power 4 first we need to change y squared into y when we change y squared into y we will get one positive square root of x plus 1 power 4 another one is negative square root of x plus 1 power 4 then we rearrange the equation after rearrange the equation we will get one equation which is y equals positive square root of x plus 1 power 4 plus 2 another one is y equals negative square root of x plus 1 power 4 plus 2 now we need to sketch the graphs of these two equations now we go to the first graph y equals positive square root of x plus 1 power 4 plus 2 first we start from the parent graph from the equation you can see that the parent graph is square root of x power 4 next we go to x coordinates transformation so from the equation you can see that the x coordinates transformation is a translation shifting one unit to the left then we go to y coordinates transformation so from the equation y coordinate transformation is the translation two units upwards that is the whole curve is shifted upwards for two unit after shifting that is the graph now we go to the second graph y equals negative square root of x plus one power four plus two same thing we start from the parent graph which is square root of x power four then we go to x coordinates transformation from the equation we know that we need to carry out translation one unit to the left after the x coordinate transformation we go to y coordinate transformation now from the equation we need to do the reflection in uh, x axis because there is a negative in front of the function so after the reflection we will go to uh, positive 2 means translation 2 units upwards so after the whole curve shifted upward for 2 units then that is the graph now after sketching the two graphs one for positive square root one for negative square root now we need to combine this two graphs by using the same axis so after we combine the two graphs so now this is the graph for 2 minus y squared equals x plus 1 power 4 